All right, today on Small Town Texas Barbecue, a wet brine versus dry brine experiment. On the left, I've got a gallon of water. Boiled uh, three cups of that with one cup of sugar, one cup of salt, kosher salt to be exact, and then stuck this in the refrigerator for about 24 hours so that we could get a good um, brine on that. And on the right, of course, we have uh, just a regular dry rub where we put this in the refrigerator for 24 hours as well. And then we stuck them out on the Rectech RT700 to get going. And uh, then we've got our briskets. Take a look. Uh, love the way these look. They were uh, pretty juicy, tasty, a beautiful bark on both of them. All right, this is my dry brined brisket right here. And this is my wet brine. This sat in a wet brine for 24 hours. This sat in a dry uh, spice rub. Um, for 24 hours and then we smoked them. Uh, these were smoked at 108 degrees or so for about a good six to eight hours and then I actually uh, finished them off at around uh, between 275 to 325 uh, just to get the fat rendered out and uh, we'll see what happens but here we go. This is the dry brine and this is a point, so this is what we have here, front to back. And then we'll go in and see what we got. So dry brine. You can see that? A little bit of brand right in front, which is good. So the bark looks good. Got some fat in there. So we can do it, see what I got in the middle. Not prime. This was a choice, I believe. So very juicy, very juicy. So yeah, still very juicy, very nice. Um, so that's what we got there. Obviously, it's coming apart pretty much. It'll hang from both sides. I mean, good dry brine, little tug. There we go. Perfect. So let's take a quick taste of this. Great. Can't complain about that one. That's a dry brine. It's a beautiful slice. Still has some fat inside there, which I'm perfectly okay with. The fat is really tender, pretty much push through it. These were probably tender when I pulled them apart, so they're pretty perfect. Smoke ring is well pronounced, got a great bark on there. Cannot complain at all about this biscuit. It's good, tasty. Dry brine. Okay, so we take my glove off, so we go cross contaminate. We'll go in on this other one and see what we got. This was the one that was wet brined. Burning end right here. Not bad. Another thing I see, another juicy brisket, different preparation style. Look at that juiciness, smoke ring is great. Very well pronounced, great bark, although the other bark is a little bit darker than this. This bark is still acceptable. This one, although it's still handy a little bit, still comes apart easily. I'll just use that one. Flip all the way through, just like that one. Same choice. Both of these were biscuit points. They're really good. There's a little piece. So again, very good brisket. Cool part. My favorite stuff right there. Just kind of hangs. Definitely a different flavor in this brine one. So this brine one, basically, I did a gallon of water with a cup of sugar, a cup of salt, all that dissolved, boiled, cooled off, stuck in the fridge, whole time. And I mean, the results are great, the color's great. That's pretty rendered on that. They were cooked both at the same time. So if you look at both, both good. But this one, you can definitely taste the sweetness in this one a little bit more. This has a completely different rub. This one, because it was brine, I basically put on pepper, garlic, and onion powder on the outside of this, and um, not the other stuff that I had on here. So, hey, 
it is what it is. Both of them are great applications. They both work and uh, really, really nice. So all I see is plenty of juices in both of them. So both of them worked. Anyhow, that's the uh, wet rind, dry rind. I mean, what do you do? Both of them are great applications. They both work with the temperatures that we use. I think that uh, they're both viable options. So enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Share this video wherever you can if you find it useful. I sure appreciate all you guys sticking around with me to the end. Have a great one.